Hello and welcome to GNT Creator YouTube channel. In this video we will use and understand the logic of simple controller, module controller, test fragment and include controller. Let's start from a simple controller. I guess that's the easiest one because a simple controller is just a container for user request. Let's open our Gmeter first. Let's create a new thread. Um, then create three separate HTTP requests. Right click, add sampler. HTTP request. I'm going to use my personal website gntcreator.com. Let's copy that. Come back to Jmeter, uh, server name or IP. Let's paste the URL, change it to www. Uh, and the slash remove to the path. Let's change the name to HTTP request one and copy this request twice. Duplicate and duplicate. So the second is supposed to be number two and the third one is supposed to be number three right here. And add the listener view result tree. Right click on thread group, add listener view results tree. Now let's add a simple controller. Uh, thread group, logic controller, simple controller right here. Now let's drag and drop first and second requests to the simple controller. Request number one and request number two. Basically, it is like a folder for our request. Now we can easily change the position of this folder related to other requests. In some situations, it could be very helpful. Let's run our test. As you can see right now, we have uh, first, second and third one. Let's move uh, simple controller under the HTTP request three. Clear all, run again and see the view results tree. We have the number three, then one and two. In some situations it could be very helpful. Now let's talk about module controller. So the goal of module controller is to add modularity to Jmeter. The general idea is that a web application consists of small units of functionality, like login, create account, log out. Now this functionality can be stored in simple controller as modules. A module controller will choose which module needs to run. To understand the flow better, I will change the name uh, of each request to login, search and logout. So let's move this one on top right here. HTTP request 1 supposed to be login, request 2 supposed to be search and request 3 supposed to be logout. And I will move search out of this folder. So now we have uh, login under a simple controller, then search and logout outside. For this example, let me leave only login here and click disable to simple controller. Do a right click and find disable right here. If we click clear all and run, it's supposed to be only search and logout. Now let's add two module controllers. Let's do the right click on the thread group, add logic controller, and let's do the same one more time. Add logic controller, module controller. Let's change their names so they will be more visible. First module controller will be login1 and the second supposed to be login2. Let's click on the first one and as you can see we have module to run, test plan, thread group. Let's open thread group and we have simple controller. So simple controller for better uh, readability we can change the name to simple controller login and click again on module controller login one as you can see we have a login here so let's click on that and on the second one let's do the same thing just add another space and hit the thread group simple controller another one now let's move the first login uh, on the very beginning right here so the flow is supposed to be this way right uh, first login one will be executed then search, then logout, and then login2. So login1 and login2, they both like a reference for the login itself. Let's clear all and run. Then hit on the view results tree. And as you can see, we have login, search, logout, and login again. This is how module controller works. So again, simple controller is like a folder or container, and module controller is like a reference. It is going to call other controllers. Now let's talk about test fragment. A test fragment is a special type of controller in Jmeter that allows you to create reusable modules or test components. 
Test fragments are often used when you want to define a set of test elements that can be reused across multiple test plans. Test fragments are stored in their own separate file, and you can include them in different test plans by using the test fragment controller. They are particularly useful for creating shared modules, such as common configurations, utility functions, or any set of test elements that you want to reuse across multiple test plans. Let's create it by doing right-click on thread group, add test fragment, test fragment right here. <clears throat> now we're gonna click on login request and copy and paste to the test fragment. So it's here right now. As you can see, a test fragment is disabled by default. We can enable it here, but let's leave it disabled so for now. Now when I click on uh, login 1 or login 2, I have options, right? Before it was only a simple controller login and right now I have test fragment on each one. So I can choose which one to run. So let's choose test fragment on both. Clear all and run again. Open report. The result is the same. Login, search, logout, login. So what is the difference between test fragment and simple controller? They both used to organize and structure your test plan, but they serve different purposes. Test fragment is used for creating reusable modules that can be shared across multiple test plans. Test fragments are stored in separate files. Simple controller is used for organizing and grouping test elements within the same test plan. It serves as a basic container for structuring your test logic. Now I'll show you another controller, which is include controller. It's designed to use an external test plan. This controller allows you to use multiple test plans in JMeter. Let me show you how it works. Do the right click on login under test fragment and hit save as test fragment. Let's change the name here to login test uh, fragment right here and click save. I already have this file and I'm I just gonna override it. I hit yes. Uh, right now it is located in our Apache JMeter folder. So before to call a simple controller or a test fragment we had to uh, we had to use module controller. Let me disable all the modules right now. Disable disable. It's supposed to be only uh, search and logout left. If I clear all hit run supposed to be only two requests right here search and log out now right click on the thread group add logic controller include controller right here we have an option to choose a test plan here click on browse and open our login test frag.gmx file which we saved a minute ago click on open let's move it to the very beginning Clear all and save again. As you can see, we have login, search, and logout. And this login part was uploaded from a file. So today we talked about simple controller, module controller, test fragment, and include controller. I hope it is clear for you now. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment below. If you like this video, please hit your thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It was GNT Creator. See you in new videos. Bye.